Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first episode of our Starfield playthrough. I hope you're all doing well today and if you're returning then you'll already know that here on the channel we primarily focus on lore within Bethesda titles, specifically the Fallout series. Lately, life has been very busy while I've been writing and researching. I've not had adequate time to bring all of that information into a video format. And while I've been maintaining live streams, several of you have come by and stated how much you enjoyed watching that Fallout 4 playthrough, and upon reflection, I realized I may have jumped the gun on discontinuing the Fallout 4 uploads. I know Starfield's a very divisive entry in the Bethesda library, but as of recording, I'm approximately 60 hours into this playthrough. We focus heavily on side quests and faction story content, and just began the main quest line this previous week. So expect a lot of uploads over the next several weeks to months. In other words, if you enjoy background noise, this should be the playlist for you. While the playthrough is still in progress over on Twitch and Kick, here I'm going to be uploading those streams episodically in approximately one hour segments with a minimal editing, just like the previous Fallout 4 entries. If you enjoy the format of these uploads and you're available, consider hanging out over on Twitch or Kick during our live streams. I'll be sure to link those down in the description. And lastly, if you're new here and enjoy Starfield or other Bethesda content, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, as always, thank you for your continued support. But without further delay, let's get into some Starfield. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, We'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. There we go. I just didn't want to talk over that dialogue. So you got some blood work. That's good though that they that they pulled some blood. They're gonna they can see a lot with blood work. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Um, Keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Yes, ma'am. You know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Heaps of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. It's a laser, not a sledgehammer. Okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So they're looking at your your kidney function and some other stuff. Heart, kidney. That's what it sounds like to me. That's that's good. It is kind of weird that they didn't give you the monitor. You're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Okay. It is deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. It it is kind of weird that they didn't let you how do i uh crouch okay i just haven't got to that part yet i guess um that they didn't have you wear that monitor for at least a week that is kind of strange but Dig 
but I'm putting some good energy out there for you on the blood work. Just for a second, guys. Just for a second. Trying to figure out how to turn my light on <laughs> on my on my character. Yeah. I know those blood draws can be not fun. Yeah, pretty decent veins. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. That's fine and all. Where's a light? Okay, that's that. Let me check settings here. Controls. Bindings. I want to to toggle lights. Bro, excuse me. Camera. You've only ever had to have to be stuck twice one time. Well, that's pretty good. I tell people at work, it's never fun to get stuck, but think of the, uh, the better cause that's coming out of it. Get that new information and, and, uh, see what's going on. It's the best way to look at it. I don't know why I don't have any lighting, so I'm sorry it's so dark. Oh. Old F. I pressed that a second ago. Uh, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. I guess we weren't far enough in the tutorial yet where it would work. Uh, I mean, there's something weird going on here. Hold on one second. I want to... So it's a calamite deposit. I meant to get my iPad. I'm gonna get my iPad after this part. So I am trying to note, uh, note the major events in the game. So we can talk about it later on. So touching that and that whole sequence is actually part of like something that you see or that you experience as the character. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage, 
Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Okay. The real boss of every RPG. Making your character. <laughs> Had it all laid out. And then I, I guess my ADHD kicked in and was like, nope. You're not doing that right now. Make it the most horrific looking thing ever. What, my character? No mercy over here, huh? Oh, oh, okay. We're just checking the, the character creation just to see, like, the depth of what you can do in the character creation. That That's all, huh? Nothing more. Nothing left. Uh, less. Oh, okay. To to totally. Totally. Okay. Okay. I will say, man, like, I think the character models look really good in this game. At least the ones you can create. I, mean, the, uh, I do remember uh, seeing some of the Uncanny Valley clips and stuff. Uh, what is, who is this? Clay? I didn't know Clay was a character model in this game. When did he, when did he become a character model? The man bun? Well, Clay's hair is real long like that, and he wears it pulled up sometimes. That mo that character model legitimately kind of looks like Claymore. I should pick like an older character, and then and then ha pick the the time like the playthrough where your character has your mom and dad there. <laughs> like mom, dad, and they're like son, and you're like. A hundred years old. It'd be nice if I could get something up where you press a button and it creates a timestamp so you could use that to stamp important things when you come back to the VOD. See, there is a timestamp button, um, spirit for me. The problem is it like doesn't work. Like I've, I've set it up on my stream deck. It never works. It has never worked in the like years that I've tried to use it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that hairstyle on her. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with no. <laughs> Sarah Morgan disliked that. Well, remember, she dislikes everything, so it's okay. <laughs> I like this one. The platinum with, like, the silver highlights. Yeah. Yeah, I like... I like those eyes. I think those give her face a lot of depth. Look, I'm about to be super invested into this this playthrough. All right, guys. We're going to play this entire game. At least that's the plan in my eyes. Yucky. Yeah, sorry guys, we're making her pretty. If I'm going to be looking at her for a few hundred hours, I'm making her pretty. Oh, I see now. Yeah, because I don't want it to be like super prominent. I don't want it to like be like that. But like we put it like that. That's actually nice. Oh God, no. Oh. <laughs> Make it. Give it a little fade. Oh great. I'm getting criticized from the other room by Mati for spending so much time on my character. Look, man. You should be happy I'm making a nice pretty female lady character and I'm spending so much time on it this Mati. Usually I just pick the generic whatever is already made and just click, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Yeah, play the game already. I, I know. I'm just holding everybody up over here. Look, I'm even taking time for eyeshadow. What's going on with me? I am being super in touch. I, I just want to give her eyeliner, I think. All right, this is our character. What do you guys think? Does she look like Space Goth Mommy? 
file not found. So that'd be piloting health and, and bullets or ballistic space weapons or space scoundrel, which is uh, ballistic based weapons, piloting or, and persuasion. Hey Jim, welcome in. Oh yeah, that's true. That is pistol specifically. That's a good call. For pistol certification so probably the file not found let's do file not found then because that's just ballistics you're a worship you've earned the attention of an annoying adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber you incessantly that we just have to do that one we just we just have to i already know what it is but we're, we got to do that you grew up in mean streets of neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on neon crime bounty, uh, by other factions greatly increased, cannot be combined with any other faction allegiance trait. Let's do extrovert. All right. I don't know why, but Amber spoke to me. Her name's Amber. Well, you got the sample. Clients on All right, guys, how long did that take us? 30 minutes? Do you remember anything <laughs> that happened? It, yeah. Oh, it's a weekly payment on the loan towards 125k. Got you. Okay. All right, so let's see what we've seen here. Uh, I'm going to say it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Hey, say something. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. I like the idea right, of exploring Dustin. space. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Press tab, open the data menu. Okay. Lower right, access your inventory. And we're going to put on our helmet. Nice. Oh, that's nice. It's only 500 credits per week. Okay, that's actually not that bad, especially if you're exploring and you're selling things and you're doing quest line. That's not bad at all. Discovery class chat.
it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? Um, how would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. Okay, well, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits. And I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? I'm just taking notes while we're playing, guys. All right, so um, let's go in here. Weapons. I'm going to favorite this for number nine. This is going to get favorited for number one. Okay, we're gonna take this gun, the Maelstrom. We're gonna favorite that to number two. Rescue axe. Wasn't doing much rescuing, sir. All these guys. Hey, you got any good hits in? Not every day we get to cut anything other than rocks. Been in a few scuffs before. We're lucky. Lost plenty of friends to Crimson Fleet. Homie's not doing good. Trying to get all these credits. See, now part of me's like, maybe I should have just took the loan out on the big old house. Hi, Barrett. Well, that was some fine work you want to explain what happened? You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Uh, if they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. If you take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Whoa, wait, I didn't ask for any of this. Um, what's Constellation? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Okay, that's not an explanation, sir. 
I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um, I was going to bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. Do you think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What about the mine? Don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. All right. Well, thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. It's a watch. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Um, why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. So explain this in more detail, like who you are and what Constellation is for me, please, Barrett. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Okay, so what exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Okay, why is the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Thinking it over? Good instinct. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. And Vasco, okay. don't let her break my ship. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Vasco! All right, don't mind me, guys. I'm just taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Helps me keep up with what's happening as well as to be able to uh, further dive into it as well. You know, deep dives and whatnot with our main YouTube channel. Because eventually I plan on making some content on this game as we get further into it and have a better understanding of what in the hell is going on. <laughs> hey, bro, look at that sandwich. All right, Barrett's personal slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, 
Their deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Okay, so he's technically borrowing the ship, he said. So that's fun. AKA, uh, it's stolen. <laughs> if we want to get real technical about it, the ship has been stolen, my brother in Christ. I want to compliment the performance. Um, because it seems to be running extremely well. I will say I'm a little nervous about piloting with my mouse and keyboard. I don't know what to expect. I'm a little nervous about flying mouse and keyboard, but I guess we'll see how it goes. left all and WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. How do we loot? Let's loot this thing. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search ah. the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to ah. fly close to it before we can access the remains. Oh, press wrong the wrong button. There we go. Here we go. I get used to the piloting. I think I'm going to really like this.
enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We oh. will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Okay, let's take a look at our star map. Travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system, zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years to uh, at once. So distant star systems may require you to jump uh, uh, to a closer star first. Oh, wow. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to Crete. And we're going to travel. It's our first jump. It's our first jump, chat. Nice. Moon of Ancelon. Open the tab. We're going to look at the actual planet. Do a planetary scan. Oh. We're going to land at the research lab. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. The loading times are actually a lot better getting in and out of the ship. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Okay, who's this Crimson Fleet captain after? Barrett, or why is this Crimson Fleet Captain after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death and often with an object multiple people wanted. Who are you and Barrett? What is Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. So why is Barrett trusting us, me, with the ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. 
Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So, he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Okay. Sounds fabulous! According to the scanners, the evidence in the research facility is in this direction. Scan creatures. Each unique item is scanned progressively to survey your data of the planet. Complete survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Um... Okay, so we're gonna press E when we're scanning something. Iron, silver. A Creed stalker. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Please don't attack me, good sir. Please do not attack me. I come in peace. Let's charge this guy up here. Dust root. Okay. Fleet is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous. Okay. Close that. Now, I remember whenever I played this when it first came out, the like crafting or deconstruction of items was a lot more limited. Does anybody know if they've expanded further upon that? With like picking up items for crafting and stuff. That's just watching the stream that maybe plays the game regularly or has played it before. I should be able to remove my helmets. I think. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Hmm. Oh, if I take my helmet off, though, I don't have a light. We're going to put our helmet back on so we have a light. sealant's really important. So you need 
gold pyramid sculpture. You got the last days. Hammers. Let's open this locker. Empty chunks packaging. Well, that's useless. I don't need anything that's empty. Oh, Christ. We are victorious. Mmm, nutrients. Okay, nothing to read or interact with over here that I see. Ooh. Some Burger King lettuce. Go on upstairs. My life chunk by chunk. What the hell? Genetic sample bottle. Sample bottle. Ooh. Some ammo. Credit sticks. All right, 189 credits. Digi picks. Got some stuff there. Got a quick save. I'm just checking my. Okay, I haven't leveled up yet. I just wasn't sure if we did or not, so. Oh, hello. You're not looking too hot there, buddy. Looking a little cold. A little, little, little lukewarm there. Hey, watch it, Vasco. I'm going to end up falling in love with this Vasco character and just needing this little, little, this little guy to just follow me on around. Come on, just follow me now, little guy. You can just be my little companion. Why oh, hear pirates talking. Some loots. All right, Vasco, we're sneaking, buddy. We're, sne we're sneaking. Let's check our water and food and whatnot. Ooh, restores two health. I like that the red wine is in a juicy cup. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm going to quick save. Go full food spice worms. What the hell kind of food is that? <laughs> Ooh, nice pistol. The rattler. That's a good gun model. I like the way that looks. That looks cool. Let's 
sick. I'm gonna take that. Sir. Antibiotics. That's where I feel like with the uh, customization, the different like difficulty customizations, you can really dive into uh, making this more about uh, being like more of a survival game with things like the antibiotics and stuff if you want more of like a hardcore experience. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh man, that was the best. Classic United Colony. Put something in a game to feel it. One more time. What are you doing, Vasco? Sir, you literally. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh Red Pack. Some more spice worms. Shotgun shells. Computer. All right, let's learn about what's going on. New beginnings. Hayden Wynn, personal journal, January 13th of 2306. Can't believe it. So this was 24 years before the events of what we're playing right now. Oh, man, I'd take off my hat. It was getting warm in here. So 24 years before the events of this game. Uh, I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at MAST, but, as long as, but it's long overdue, and I get to be part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three days. Amanda's upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave, and I'll be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in the United Colonies space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. All right. Uh, candidate one. So this is February 6th. That first entry was on January 13th. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be an alien form of Luke, uh, Le Quaj Venusta, essentially a giant spider. Michelson is in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface in CI, but our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. And we have no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expect, expected success the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that the detachment of the United Colonies Marine Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. Ashta specimen. This is May 5th, so later in the same year. I'm not sure how they manage it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and natural predators. Those are both exceptional, wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet of Aquila and the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Leave it to a group of group pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Free Star Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Trial failure. And this is two days later. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Michelson... Uh, debacle we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation 
so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterwards. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Shen's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov, Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. That was trial failure. More disappointment. This is May 12th, 2306. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things are were so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptin's Venom. Venom. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things could have been a spectacular, especially with the poison. New specimens. This is July 6th. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropo arthropods. The alien equivalent of uh, Homaris gamaris. Basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects. Some godforsaken, godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. And this, I believe, uh, it, they said giant space lobsters. I think that's that first creature that we came across. And, Val and Vasco was like, hey, uh, these things are unpredictable. You don't know how they're going to react. So be careful. And it's like, it looked like a little crab. All right, August 1st, this is relocation. We're we're moving, pack, packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful that we're actually relocating to their home world. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named senior Xeno biologist. That means I'll be running an entire facility my first instinct was to tell Amanda I'm still not used to her not being there. I'll give Michelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface, uh, the NCI, that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson was being forced to retire. Good riddance. Okay. So this facility we're learning was a testing facility. We're basically making um, weapons out of the out of these different creatures and whatnot, and just to like look at where we are, Crete Research Lab. Okay. Just notating that. I think that's a uh, really vital information for this area. Okay. All right, we got a digi pick here. Pick the lock. 500 credits and another digi pick. Snowy, I could have already paid for um, 
I could have already paid for the freaking apartment, dude. For like a month. <laughs> Part of me wishes I would have paid for it. <laughs> All right, blue lab outfit. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. That might just look kind of cool. And I'm gonna sleep for an hour. Get our health going here. I did like this game, so I'm hoping new updates made it better. It seemed like it was missing a lot. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, obviously we're not very far into the game itself, so I can't really give an input on that, but I will say as far as how it's running, like performance wise, it does actually seem to be running a lot better. Um, I mean, even at the time with my PC being, uh, what it is, it still had a few little issues here and there with frame rate and stuff, but uh it seems to be solid i mean i seem to be having a good experience so far we'll see whenever we get you know more in the deeper combat and stuff like that but also i mean that no that was before i upgraded no i that was after i upgraded my pc but that was before i knew about the 14th gen and 13th gen issues with the intel so that could have been a big part of that issue but Seems to be doing really well. I know they had some big quality of life improvements with... I have detected hostile life nearby. Ah! That scared me. Ah. Sir. This is a Chili's. I know they've done a bit, a lot of big quality of life improvements with different things, supposedly. So, I mean, we're going to see. Okay, bro. Hold on a second, guys. What is going on? My phone is just going nuts and it's kind of driving me crazy. Get them lights back on. Hey, yeah, I know they. Yeah, level two, baby. Let's level up. I know the quality of life focus was like a really big thing for them. Like trying to add like a lot of things that they felt like should have been in the game. Let's see here. Destroy five ships. What's the other thing I pick? Oh, physical. Heal 200 damage. Okay. So I've got to get some more ballistic kills, heal, and take out more enemy ships before I can really get going too uh, crazy there. Let's go here. Weapons. My favorites. Oh, wait, one second.
20 minutes explaining the AVP timeline. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty in depth, isn't it? What the heck? Equinox laser rifle. Ooh. I know I didn't put any stats in laser weapons, but that might be kind of fun. Just to see how we like it, right? In fairness, I don't really know that the full timeline of that. That's that's a pretty in-depth uh, thing as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, credits. Give me those. Heart? Just a random heart. Or does it say here? Is that here plus? Let me check it again. Oh, here plus. Plus 20% health for two minutes. 200. Oh, okay. 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 I miss, uh, I misread that. <laughs> that is that heart. Like, do I, do I need that? Like, ooh, some research items. Ooh, pharmaceutical lab. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Bandages. There we go. I made some band-aids. Okay. Treats, contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. Treats infections. Milk. Peach. Rye. Apples. Synthetic ham. Okay. It starts with the first six things being aliens or AVP. The first original alien property doesn't start till a third of the way through the timeline. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> a lot of movies back in the day really did that where they're like, all right. Uh, it's like Star Wars is a great example. Star Wars. And then they're like, man, this did so well. Let's continue with this story. All right. Well, this one now is Star Wars episode four. And now the one you're seeing is episode five and six. They're, they're not actually the original. <laughs> like the beginning of the very beginning of the story. We're going to wait another 20 or 30 years and then tell that part of the story. Gotta love it. Ooh, a hazmat suit. I'll take that. I got this. Oh, hi. Well, just come on down, buddy. Come on down. Maybe I'm scared. Yeah, that seems like that would get pretty in depth and very immersive. this guy oh, oh god you're dead we're all dead the comms relay has been trashed the whole room is trashed we can't call for help i can hear 
to terror, more roaring somewhere, and more people screaming. <laughs> We're all dead. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to have to pick this lock and take everything inside of it. Be a shame if I got all the loot out of it. There's a predator versus Wolverine. See, I've heard about that, but it, so it is canon. I actually didn't realize it was canon though. I knew there was a, a comic book though. I'm quite the fan of Wolverine, but I didn't realize that was canon. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got another. I'll be right back, chat. One second.
I'm so sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for just a second. I know it's kind of random. Uh, with 20th Fox gone, it probably got canned, let's be honest. I mean, maybe. Um, it could always be revisited, you know, at another time, though. That's not an impossibility. That's possible. That's something that they could further explore later on. There we go. in that one I was sitting here wondering why my eyes felt like they were straining there we go Put my glasses on keep going on up actually I think there were some pirates that I took out downstairs before I came up here and then stepped away for a second yeah check this out down here I felt like I was not looking through something Oh yeah, the bolt action kills like with no attachments. You gotta do the moison. You gotta use the moison. Moison's pretty good though. You should be able to get some scav kills with that. I believe in you, dude. You're like really good. I'm, you know, you guys know me like watching me play Tarkov. I'm freaking blind as a bat, dude. Like, I don't know why I have such a hard time seeing things and it's maybe because I'm just a noob or something, but I do have a very difficult time like seeing things on that game. I don't know why. Because the lighting and the coloring of the world is really well done. So it's definitely not anything like with the game design. There's just, I think it's like, it has that kind of grainy effect Maybe I can turn that down. Is there a way to turn the grain effect down in that game? Because maybe that's what's like messing me up whenever I'm playing Tarkov. All right, we got a Novus Digi pick. Okay, and then, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Credits, did you pick? Dude, I love it. Love it. I really like the uh, hacking on this game. I know some people are not fans of it versus the traditional lock picking, but I like it. 
Hayden wins Project Terminal. You guys, hibiscus tea. Best tea you'll ever drink, by the way. We go through it so quickly. It's un unreal. Okay, war. Aiden Wynn, senior xenobiologist, Crete Research Facility, Project Log, January 5th, 2308. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Freestar Collective have forced the UC's hands, the unmitigated Gaul, thinking they could establish control over the fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders are apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate of 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that Classified Agencies is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2. This is April 5th of 2308. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exact, exactly the weapons we have hoped for. So it's time to expand our operation. MAST has finally approved the next stage of the facility's operations. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will now commence. Stalkers. April 18th of 2308. We finally stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some of the planet and fit them with the NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. Heat leeches. Uh, May 1st. Throughout the settled systems, the civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with nuance, uh, nu nuance, oh my God, nuances known commonly as heat leeches. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the after thrusters. They are attracted to heat, feed off of it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. The ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% to 5 drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely in innocuous save for their heat siphoning properties. But what if there is a way to weaponize them, perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship. Someday, today, I fear we lack the means to do either. So they are desperate at this point to just weaponize anything that they can in this uh, war. Any of these freaking creatures that they can weaponize, they want to do it. Is basically what we're learning at this facility. Let's get on out of here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I 
heal myself. Bourbon. There we go. Now I can level that up. Increase max health by 10%. Okay, next one is 500 health. Okay. I feel like having more health is more important than the uh, ballistic stuff, and at level three, we'll, we'll level that up. All right. The long-awaited exit of the little... The first little dungeon ship thing that we were going through. I'm sure you guys are so ready for us to be out of that. Me and true Dan fashion take my sweet freaking time going through and reading everything. Ooh. Deep mining space helmet. Oh, it's got better airborne on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on. Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Antiseptic plus 25 airborne resistance. That's nice. Okay. The notebook. Okay, we're gonna quick save. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, here the we go. Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. That's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. What's your problem with Barrett anyways? Ooh, maybe I should lie about it. Oh, I'm going to try it. That's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Oh, no. You see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay. Come on, type, dude. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threat. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice is that uh, it fails, but the more points you, you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you never you can never fail if your last choice succeeds. Um... <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna try this. Beating up people like you is how I get my kicks, you know. You don't scare me. Damn it. Okay. Uh, hey, if you wanna trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. You willing to give up the ship? Just like that? <laughs> you have it wrong. Constellation is an exploring group. They aren't treasure hunters. They are treasure we've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing get out of here take your robot and your ship and get out of here 
I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference.